Hey, what's up guys? This is Guy here with KB Trainings. Welcome to this new video where I'm going to show you how I install my Unify switch here. This is the USW24 PoE switch. I bought it a couple months ago for my home network installation. And you know that I've been sharing with you that project since the beginning. So I have a couple of videos here. If you missed that, you can go ahead and watch them. I have a playlist where I put all the videos. This is the actual design that I'm going to implement or that I'm implementing now. I already showed you how I configured the 40 gate, which is my main firewall. And today I'm going to install the switch with all the VLANs. These are all the VLANs that I have in my network. I'm going to have three APs that I'm going to install next. I have explained all of this in my previous videos, so I won't spend a lot of time here. So this is the USW24 PoE, a beautiful switch from Ubiquiti with 24 ports and it also has two sfp ports as well that i'm going to use definitely because i may run out of ports so i need to use these two as well and it's fanless so you don't have any fan inside it's quiet and uh, you can definitely use it without a lot of noise and in the back we just have the input here for power and that's it so we also have these ears for the rack and i'm going to show you how i install these as well and we have all the screws that come with the switch. In the last video, I showed you how I installed the Unify Cloud Key, which is the main controller that's going to control my switch and the, the access points as well. By the way, if you are here for the first time, my name is Guy and I created KB Trainings to share with you these kind of projects. I'm an IT professional. So if you like this kind of project and if you like tech in general, please subscribe and like the video to encourage me to create more. And if you want to start your career in the IT, I have a course on kbtrainings.com, I mean for the CCNA, which brings you from zero to engineer and help you get a job or advance in your career okay there's also this small one here this is the usw flex mini it's beautiful it's just good you have usb-c here in the front for uh for power and on the back you can also power it with poe using this port here so i like it so much that i bought like four of them i have four of them right here I use it pretty much everywhere throughout the house and it's very handy and very helpful. Next, I'm going to power on this device and we're going to see what's happening. So now I'm plugging this ethernet cable in a port one. Because for now, all the ports should be in the same VLAN, which is the VLAN one. And then I'm going to plug in the power on the back of the switch. So the switch is booting right now, and if everything goes well, it should have an IP address. We are inside the Unified Cloud Key, and it shows me two options, the network or protect. So we are here for the switch, so it's uh, the network. All right, so from here, we're going to click on devices. So we can see that it's already detected the new switch that we have in the network. It's right here. And we also have this other Flex Mini that is connected to the network as well. But if you take a look, there are in two different networks. The USW24 PoE is in the 10.35 and the Flex Mini is in the 192.168. This is my lab network that I'm using temporarily uh, for now. So I'm going to click on the 24 PoE to adopt it and add it to my Unify controller. So they give me all the information here and ask to click here to adapt. Adapting, provisioning, uh, configurations are being pushed. All right, here we have the view of the switch and it says connected. So it's fully adapted by my um, Unify controller. All right, so now I'm going to get the switch ready to be attached to the rack. I'm going to um, to attach the, the ears and then we will put it in place. All right, so now, as you can see, I'm in the process of attaching the switch to the rack. It took me a moment just to make sure that everything is attached properly and clean. This is the final result. As you can see, I have some uh, more equipment here. I'm going to show you in the, in the controller. I have cameras already attached. Um, a few cameras and access points as well. So this is how it looks and I'm pretty happy with the result. So now let's um, explore the Unify controller and uh, some configurations on the switch. So this is the main page. As you can see, I don't have any um, Unify firewall. So that's why I don't have uh, these two here. No internet capacity or no gateway because I use the Fortinet for firewall. 
and here you can see that I have four switches with 15 wired clients and um, 41 Wi-Fi clients I also have two APs that I installed um, I'm going to show you in the next video how I did it so I have a total of four APs I decided to put another AP in a garage so I have four I would have four APs um, total and uh yeah so this is all the details on wi-fi we're going to see it in the next video so if we want to look at the switch we go under devices and you can see all the devices that i that i'm supporting now in this controller and i click on main switch which is the switch that we installed so this is few days later and as you can see the switch has been up for um, eight days so i have some more devices that are um, that are already added to the network uh, here we have the layout of all the ports and these are the two SFP ports that are currently being used as uplink ports going to the 40 gate and we have all the information about the switch here we have the uplink port which is um, detecting only 25 but 26 as well is an uplink port uh, we also have the downlinks these are the APs and the different switches that are um, downlinked to this device and when I go on the client, I see the wired client, um, including cameras and so on. Actually, I have, let me show you, I have uh, four cameras that are currently installed. In the next video, I'm going to talk about the Unify Protect, and I'm going to show you uh, all the cameras that I have. I might have a total of maybe 12 or 15 cameras at the end of this project. So that's for the next video, uh, or one of the next videos. All right, so here on the ports, you can see all the different uh, 26 ports that we have. And on the PoE, the ports that are delivering PoE, you can see the wattage or the consumption of the device that is connected to, this, uh, to these ports. And uh, I tried to name some of the ports, and, but I didn't do it for, for everything. Like the Unified Cloud Key is connected to this port here, which is the port 16 and these two are the uplink ports just like i showed you and if you want to change the configuration on the port you just click on the on the small pencil here to edit and here you can change the name of the port or you can change the switch port profile we will see how you can change these profiles really soon and if you want to override the the configuration in a profile you can click here and change whatever you want and here is for the mac filtering for now i'm not doing it but I'll have to set it up as, as soon as this, uh, this project is completed. So if we go under configuration, here we can change the name of the switch. We can also do some other configurations. Uh, the main one is the management VLAN. In my case, the main VLAN, which is the VLAN with the tag of 35, is my management VLAN. So I had to make sure that this is changed to main so that uh, because my uplink ports are trunks, so I want to make sure that the switch knows that it should use the VLAN uh, 35 for management. And uh, you can do all these other things here. Um, spanning tree is mostly disabled on all the ports because, um, yeah, we won't have any loop. Uh, I know that for sure. Okay, on the network, you can change your IP configuration for the switch. Here we're using DHCP. And uh, here you can copy configuration from another device. You can upgrade manually. You can do all kinds of things. And uh, yeah, so on the tools, you can have access to the debug terminal. We're not going to use it for now. And on the stats, you have um, all you have to know uh, about the CPU usage and the memory as well. So if you want to create VLANs on this uh, switch or, th or these switches, because you manage all the switches um, here in this uh, dashboard. So under settings, you can see that we can configure Wi-Fi here. This is where we put our SSIDs or we create uh, Wi-Fi networks. In my case, I have only three of them right now, but I will have um, four to eight SSIDs here when this project is uh, is done. You can add a new SSID. I mean, this is for Wi-Fi, so we're going to do it next time. So under networks, this is where we can create new VLANs or new networks. And if you want to add a new network, you go here and click on add new. And you're going to give it a name and come under advanced and put your VLAN ID right here. All right, for security and the internet, this is mostly for the UDM Pro, so I don't have it now. But I'm thinking of getting a UDM Pro, so that will definitely come in, in one of my next videos. Under system settings, uh, not much to do here. Under advanced features, this is where you can create new switch port profiles. And in my case, for example, I have these different profiles. 
the all is the default one that comes with the device the all means that it's a trunk if you click on the view you can see here um, so it's a trunk and the native VLAN is the network untagged which doesn't have any any tag on it or the VLAN one and um, we tag all the other networks and we don't have any any voice VLAN here we also have um, disabled which uh, I think disabled the ports and the untagged is just the VLAN one itself on a port main is the VLAN 35 and so on uh, main untagged is a trunk where the main VLAN or the VLAN 35 is the native VLAN so it doesn't get tagged no power is what I added to put all the ports where I want to disable a PoE or if I want to maybe shut down a camera on AP or something like that and we have all the other configurations here I don't have the gateway so I don't have uh, much to do in here um, yeah as I said if you want to change the profile on the port you just click on the port itself mm, no you go under ports and you just click on the port click on edit and you can change um, the profile here to choose whatever you want all right that's all for today guys and if you have any question leave it in a comment or send me an email i'll be glad to respond and if you are new to the channel don't forget to subscribe and please like the video to support the channel in the next video i'm going to talk about the ap's and then we'll move to the cameras and i will probably do uh, an overview of the whole network after everything is done and if i get the unify uh, dream machine i'm going to install it as well and show it to you thank you for watching i'll see you in the next one take care bye